Hello and welcome to day eight, aka the very last day. I'm so, so sad to be leaving. Beautiful place that is LA. I'm super highlight, but I'm super sad to leave. Like, I'm really like, don't even know how to put north. I do not want to leave. Do not want to. I don't, like, nothing against, I love where I work, but I don't want to go back to work. I don't want to go back to everyday life. Love vacation. There's a small part of me that's like, it's kind of bittersweet. Sweet in the sense, I really miss my dog. I can't wait to see little Louie because we keep looking at pictures, which it's only eight days. So like, you know, but he's just such a little cute dog and I do miss him. And it'll be nice to get back into my everyday, like regular routine, you know, because it's hard sharing like one room with four people. We usually stay in like Hamptons, Hilton's, those kind of things. So we'll usually have like one room with like two beds and one bathroom and we just like share that and it's, it's a little rough, you know? I'm not used to everybody getting ready in like the same spot and like if I take too long everybody's mad at me if I'm too quick I have to wait for everybody like it'll be nice to just kind of have my own space and do my own thing again because it is a long time to be very close quarters with your whole family so that's that and my dog is the only reason I'm looking forward to going back but I'd rather stay here I could suck up the close quarters to be in LA hey guys let's do this puzzle of getting all this are you sad it's over pretty much is there a little bit of you where it's bittersweet to get to see Louie and not be just like Louie shoved in with everybody in one room just Louie and no waking up early and that Lauren doesn't have a job she just put her two weeks in right before we left for vacation so she's done she has she's jobless unemployed but me I get to go back to tax-free weekend which is a huge huge thing I, don't, they, I know they only have it in select states, so some of you guys may not be familiar with it, but in Missouri we do have tax free weekend and Kansas is right next door, I'm bordering Missouri and Kansas, um, and Kansas does not have it. So all the Kansans come to Missouri, plus all the Missourians are shopping, and it's crazy, crazy. It makes Black Friday look like not that busy, but you, you get to relax and have a vacation Go to after the, pool, the vacation. hang out with Louie, hang out with friends that I don't have. <laughs> Yeah, I get to um, work, 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 make money to pay off all the stuff I got. How did one. we do this? Did you, is it all in here? Good work, guys. Look at that. She's a girl. When you're having dog withdrawals, oh my god, it looks like Louie. Little dogs are so cute. She was seven hundred dollars so though. I was like, I got my little dog Louie. He was free. I'm a good dog bargain chopper and it was just from a family that lived in a neighborhood close by and she's had lots of different um like litters of puppies and she just didn't want to mess with all the stuff that you have to do so it was free but um the little dogs are so cute gosh we're going into the morphe store I wonder how many morphe stores are there is this the only one you know Jacqueline. You can see her palette. <laughs> I try to control myself with more feet, but you know, I have no control. But I got the Jacqueline Hill palette, so that's super cool because there's no way I would have gotten it if I wouldn't have gone in there because I don't know if she'll be restocking again, but I know they, they've been like sold out, so super excited. I don't have to do a tutorial. Got a whole bunch of brushes that I didn't really need, but you know. I did need them. I needed them, but I didn't need them, if you know what I mean. And I also got one of the little liquid lipsticks because I've never tried any of their lipsticks. Woo. And then I also got a couple eyeshadows. So, yeah, super excited. What did you get up, Morphe, Lauren? 10 miles away. Oh, I got a Morphe beauty blender. Awesome. Don't that forget, you're probably sponge. gonna, well, are you gonna be in my LA haul? Am I? I don't know. So, I don't know. Okay, we well, can 700 go South Springs. So you got a Morphe Beauty Sponge. The Glisten Eyeshadow because it was really pretty. I got I like a 107. It's like a powder brush. I got that one too. I got, I got a 531 and I thought it would be good for either blending or like highlight. Then I got this tiny little brush. It's a Y20. It was gold. I thought it would be good for like the inner corner, blending on your mm -hmm. crease, you know, deal. 
And then I have an M60, which I thought would be good for like contouring. It looks like that. Or like baking your contour. It would be. I have one like that, but it's not as precise and I really like yeah. it. And then I got an M100, Ooh. which is like a mini blush brush. The full size one was way more, so I just got the mini because I'm cheap. But that's all I got. Is that everything? Yeah. Should I do my Morphe haul now that's or share, share it for my LA haul? $47 on those. Well, I won't go ahead. I guess I won't do my. Should I do a Morphe haul as part of this vlog or should I show it in my regular LA haul? We're going to sneaky peeky. Yeah, I'll just give you a sneak peek. Okay, so first of all, I got the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm super excited about this. Obviously, it's been sold out. Um, they actually, they say they're out of them. I think, right? They said they're yeah, sold out. They but they have a whole bunch behind the register, so if you just ask for it, you can buy one. So it's just kind of like a secretive kind of thing. So is it? Yeah, it's the one in downtown LA. I think. And then I got one. a beauty sponge as well. I got the Flawless Beauty Sponge. I was trying to figure out which one Jaclyn Hill raves about, but I wasn't sure. So I just got this one because it looked good. I got a couple single eyeshadows. I got Glisten, which looks like a really pretty, like light champagne kind of kind of color. I was trying to find like my base eyeshadow, something like that. And then I also got this color. What is it? Marbleized, and it was really pretty. Um, I thought it maybe be pretty for fall. It's just like a shimmery kind of like darker color. And then I also got um, Caramelized, which is just a nice tan because I really like a lot of my colors I use from the palette. So I just kind of looked like one that was in my more 350 palette that I use a lot. And then I won't show you all the brushes. I'll just show you kind of the makeup I got. And then I got one of their liquid lipsticks in the shade Virgin, just like the lightest shade. But I'm kind of like, it looks really light pink when I swatched it. And now it's like kind of oxidized a little bit and it's like a darker purple color. So I don't know how much I'm going to like it, but I thought I'd at least test it out because I wouldn't just like go on the website and pay shipping just to try out a lipstick. So I figured I'd try it while I was there. And then I'm not going to go through all the brushes, but I'll just show you kind of briefly. So I'm not going to go through them all right now. You'll have to wait for my LA haul, but I did get a lot of brushes as well. So check out my LA haul. I'm going to show all the clothing I bought during this trip, and then I'll also go into more detail for the Morphe haul. So hope you guys enjoyed this mini haul. Add something interesting to the vlog since we're not doing too much today. So now we are headed to downtown LA. We are going to go to Little Damage, which is the ice cream that you see all over Instagram where it's like, it's got like the black cone and then like the black soft serve right one. Yeah. It's like the really cool looking ice cream. Um, so we're going there. We're just gonna like hang around downtown LA and then maybe if we have time, go to Venice Beach before we leave for the airport. So, fingers crossed. So we went to Little Damage. You want to show what's left with your cone? Um, but it's all really sweet. Mine tasted like, what do you say? Tra strawberry cheesecake. The black one did. Oh, the blue one tastes kind of like cake batter. But it's called oh. Little Damage. I think it's there's only the one that's in downtown LA, maybe. I'm not really sure. I heard but, there's um, only one. There is only one? I, I, yeah. Yeah, so there's just the one that's in downtown LA. You but if you guys were curious, like me, because it's really hard, nobody ever says where it's from. So I'll let you know. It's Little Damage Spotted. Scout and Louie, Riley's dog and my dog. We did not have time to stop by Venice, yeah. but it's okay. There will be a next time. I hope. I know. Look at my highlight. This is the highlighter in salted caramel. That's what it is. But yeah, we're leaving. I'm gonna miss everything about it. I'm like about to cry. Our and the longer we stay, the closer to five o'clock. Well, not even if we get to everywhere. Look, those, they're the leaning tower of palm trees. They're Dr. Seuss. So we were really sad that we didn't get to see the beach one last time, so we like left the Venice area, and then my mom had the bright idea after we left 
to see if maybe by chance our flight was delayed, which it was an hour. So now we actually do have time, but we had already left the area, so now we're here at Dock Weiler Beach, which is kind of close to the airport, I think. So we're just gonna go here so we can see the ocean one last time. That's what's up. Please, no more whippets. Don't whip it, don't whip it. Don't oh, he's it. gonna whip it. Oh my gosh, what? He's got beef. Also, I've carried eyelash glue and tweezers around with me this whole time since we're about to fly to put it away. And now, of course, this is the one time this whole vacation my eyelash is lifting. I'm not okay with this. So we are at Dockweiler Beach, I believe. We just wanted to see the ocean one more time before we leave, so that's what we're doing. And I really wish I would have grabbed a jacket because it's a little chilly. You know, it's only like 80, so it's a little chilly for me. <laughs> <laughs> We're turning on Imperial Senate Street. You're funny. Imperial Senate. Funny looking. When I get to the airport and I have to take off my shoes to go through security, it's going to be like a bucket of sand. No way. Coming out, yeah. Because my feet are so like sandy from like going to the like beach in the like valley. <laughs> Just kidding. Dad, you like your Victoria's Secret bag? Love it. Love it. It's very chic. I'm just, just trying to vlog, you know, out here in these streets. So I haven't had dinner yet and I'm like starving. So I was gonna just get McDonald's here because that's what I usually do when I'm at the airport because it's just like cheap and fast and a lot of the places are nice restaurants. But they took out the McDonald's. So I just went to Starbucks to get a breakfast sandwich for dinner. So that's what's up. Tears. Except for right TLC when we get home, so I'm happy. Some what? TLC. Tender love and care. <laughs> We're on the plane. We'll be taking off shorts, please. How sad are you? Or happy? Sad to be leaving. Happy to see Louie. I'll just bring Louie with me. Yeah, I'm really sad to be leaving LA, but um, I'm really sad to be going to work for like the next LA two days or something. No, I'm crazy. I'm coming for you. Actually, you could do LA 2017 as part of that. I'm trying to plan a trip in December. I mean, like moving. But oh, that's weird. Riley just texted me as I said that. But yeah, anyway, so. I got the window seat this time. So, yeah, that is what's up.
scale of 1 to 10, 10 being Antarctica, how cold were you? 11. I was freezing. I think I'm gonna be sick after this. Now that I'm back in Casey, I'm bitter. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. Our flight was so cold. Oh my gosh, it was a fridge. It I had water and it refroze. <laughs> my, I don't think my ice melted. It was so cold. Oh my gosh, it's we'll 3 o'clock in the morning. 3 o'clock in the morning. I have to work in like 11 hours. Wow. I have to work a 9 hour shift in 11 hours. I don't like the sound of that. I and I have, we haven't gotten our bags or anything. I don't have a job right now. Shut up. Oh, it's not even warm. It's not even warm out here. I came out here to get warm and it's literally not even warm. What the heck? It's like 100 degrees here in the summer and it's not even warm. This is ridiculous. So I'm officially back home. Riley was house sitting for us and I know I left my room like not completely dirty but definitely not clean. And Riley made my bed, cleaned up my desk area. Like she just made, like cleaned my room and made my bed. And it's just so nice to come home to a clean room. So thanks and shout out to Riley. I look terrible but it's, <laughs> it's really nice to be back home. And oh, I gotta turn off this fan, I'm so cold. But it's so nice to be home a little bit and just have my own space back because obviously we've all been crammed in like one hotel room and people start to get on your nerves a little after eight days. So it's nice to have my own space back, my own little area to get ready. My dogs aren't here yet because um, they're still being like dogs at. It is nice to be back even though I do really miss LA. It's... Nice to be back home and have Wi-Fi and our, you know, obviously LA is super crowded and crazy all the time. When we were driving home, there was not a single other car on the road, which is super nice. Like, after being in LA where it's just crazy and, like, traffic and always having to find a place to park and waiting in line, it's just nice to be back into the chill life of Missouri. But anyways, so I'm going to go to bed because it is currently 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so tired. I work tomorrow. I work a nine hour shift tomorrow from 2 to 11. We'll probably even stay later. Good night. Thank you guys for watching. Please give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and follow all my social media. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching all of my vlogs this week. I'm really sad that it's over. I really am sad that the trip is over. I'm sad that the daily vlogging is over. Just overall, I'm really sad that it's over. For real, I was almost cried when we left the airport. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, let me know if you guys would like me to start vlogging more in my everyday life. Obviously, like, this was vacation and I was doing fun stuff, but I could do, like, a day in my life or something like that. I mean, it's just, I really don't do that interesting stuff day to day. I mean, I work full time and I go to school full time and all my friends go away and they live in different places for college. So I don't really do, like, that much fun stuff. But, um, yeah, if you guys would like to see more vlogging in my everyday life, let me know. I know I've said that before, but it's really hard to just get into the habit. But now I feel like I kind of have the hang of it since I did vlog for eight days straight. My backpack is actually nine months pregnant. It's gonna have a baby any day. I think we're okay. It's actually carrying quadruplets, so that's why it's 